Howdy folks, how are we doing? It's Solid Time 2021. Uh, we went mowing yesterday and dropped about 10 acre field, which we should have cut about three weeks ago, maybe even longer. Uh, but it's been so wet and unsettled um, that this is the first opportunity it's dried up to do it. So I well, am just about to follow the TW up and going to get the front weights off. So she's half ton lighter on the front. Um, let's get the baler on today, get that a wash and the tractor. Um, yeah, a few odds and jobs to do for picking up tomorrow. This is your fire. Yeah, she'll probably be doing a bit of trailer duty, so I certainly don't need another half ton hanging on the front of her. Got my new um, command module here, as you can see, which I think is quite tidy. Basically, I've got a voltmeter on it, that come with it anyway, but I've also got a uh, cigarette lighter, if I need that, a couple of USBs for charging stuff, and a D plug. So I can, you know, I can run the baler, I can run uh, feeder wagon now. I don't know why it took me so long to get it in, but uh, that's in there, and that's the best way I could see of doing it, to be honest. Uh, just mount it all onto a junction box. I've got a MIDI fuse holder in there, um, so that's protecting it all. Uh, yeah, jobs are good, really. It's a lot warmer today than it has been. I've been used to sort of low double figures, but we're now up into the 20s. Loader says it's 22 degrees. There we go. Ugh. That in there, that'll latch on itself. All right, take the centre pin out. That should just lift out. Just like that. And you want to make sure it, <laughs> it don't swing back in the grill. Oh, I'm just going to check the mower over, grease up before it goes out again. That's the mower box, that is. Cool. Spare blades, all that sort of stuff in there. Not ideal that it sits in the cab though, is it really? I just threatened to make it like a boxing uh, that will sit on the front when we haven't got a weight on um, to carry stuff like that, but as is normal, didn't get around to it. Well, I'm just changing these mower blades because, um, as you can see, <laughs> we've had uh, had a money's worth out of them. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> now these are quick fit tines in a certain respect. Uh, they're better than the fact that they haven't got bolts, but they're not um, not very quick. It's just the tool you get to do them with. Um, I forgot. I broke one of the little tabs off it last year. They basically hook in there and it should be able to lever like that and then it levers this little locking tab over. Never works very well so I tend to just use a little lever. Give it a little knock with the hammer. That's the tab off. 
You got a little locating hole there. That allows you to get the pin out. So yeah, there's a <laughs> there's our old play and there's a new one. They are reversible and they are slightly cranked as well. As you can see, they just they got a bit of a downward slope on them for cutting. So anyway, just clean that up. Clean up where uh, the little tab sits. You put that through there. Quite often you have to hit the pin back up through. Like I say, they're classified as quick fit, but they're not really very quick, are they? The only other type of mower blades I've changed are class ones. And uh, they were a lot better, a lot quicker. You get basically a tool where underneath there's a, there's a bit that comes under on a class one, a bit like that, with the dowel in it, like that centre pin. But that's sprung loading, there's a tool you get with the, with the mower, and then you put the tool in, sort of little mechanism there, and then you pull down, pulls this down, this sprung, sprung bit of steel that allows you to take the tine out put a new one in release it and away you go it's a lot quicker a lot lot quicker but um, better than bolts I suppose so you did get that little tab this locking tab over that there you go over that little ridge there and that locks it in place there you go, that's got it. Got the old Dutch on uh, milling duties. We still do need to mill even through the summer. Uh, normally at least once a week. And don't you look pretty? It looks lovely. Got um, got the new rear lights on the other day and the, and the uh, bulb in the headlight. So she is seeing pretty, she is. Well, it sounds like she's empty. Yeah. Right, handbrake off, uh, not handbrake, <laughs> detail off. forward so we can get uh, another hopper full in so there's the new lights so they look too bad do they they should never been to clean right stick another load in Good, a full bucket of this um, bucket is just about hot full near enough, as you can see.
PTO on. She's away. Well, I'll do my utmost now to keep her in that sort of nick. Although, like I say, during the winter, when the cows, especially when the cows come in, she doesn't move out of this barn. So, I mean, there's very little point in taking her over out to get washed. Um, she doesn't get wet. It just, like I say, stays in this barn all the time she does. Hence why, you know, there's no rust on her at all. Yeah, the cab's in a lot better nick than the old TW. Oh, it's three o'clock, we're just fetching the cows in now. So you don't get this on uh, the average arable farm, but these have got to be done, no matter how busy we are, whether we're silage or harvesting, still got to milk cows. Come on, you lot! I'm a bit re <laughs> reluctant to go in for milking today, by the looks of it. Come on! Right, last thing I've got to do is just take this play out of this uh, last disc, which I call the drum, because it is well, it's got a drum on it. Basically, all that does is just enable the outside disc to feed the grass into the conditioner. So, um, but all it's done is, it's basically exactly the same as one of these discs. And uh, we've just got to have the center nut out, tighten it up a bit, and uh, that'll take that play out. That just pops off, and as you can see, it's, it's a disc exactly the same as the others, just held in by a split pin on a castellated nut. So basically, you've got a hole goes through the shaft, and you can rotate the the nut to um, to line up with the holes. That's how it all works. the split pin out so now we can um, nip it up is it 30 32 hopefully yeah right need a stopper in just to stop it um... oh look at that we got to nip them up as well for the skid but we need a stopper in to stop that rotating while we nip up and as usual we're halfway between the um, bit we want I don't suppose that will nip up anymore oh no we get one more bit on it will there you go we'll get the split pin back through but what we'll do stick a new one in I think There you go. Let's take the play out of that. Stick the drum back on and she's ready to go, apart from that um, skid plate. Tell you, you can't odds it, can you? Drop some grass, sits there on the floor, clear forecast, no rain in the forecast for, for eight, for 10 days. What's it doing? Lashing it down. You even look, at the BBC forecast at the minute. This is updated a second ago, Tempsford. Updated a minute ago, yep. No rain. It's not raining. Yeah, it's actually raining at the minute. 
I don't know what this thing is coming out of the sky, but it's not raining apparently. But um, yeah, Jesus. So, not sure we'll be going tomorrow at this rate yet, because it's steadily getting harder and harder. So I've got my coat on, as you can see. So, anyway, mower's done. Fold that up, stick that somewhere. TW is basically ready to roll. Uh, I'll stick that under the barn. Um, got to put the baler on yet, in case we go tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow is supposed to be a decent day. <laughs> yeah, righto. Um, so we might get baler, we might not. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Anyway, let's crack on and get out bloody rain. So at least the mower's done. And I'm not getting wet under there. Fold her up. I don't know if anyone else ever has this problem in the world. I've only got it on this one. And this one spool, I think. I'm, can't remember, I'm not sure if it does it on the others, but green one for sure. Whenever you start it up, first few minutes of using it, it won't um, do more than like a second or two. But after five minutes or so, or whatever, not even that, it'll work fine. See, it's not working again now. There you go. Odd, odd. Well, like so after a minute or two, she'll work a treat. Oh, blooming weather, eh? You can't odds it. Going to stick the wrapper on the old girl now. It's still just mizzing. I don't think we're going to get much. One well, looks a bit brighter over yonder. I haven't wet it too much anyway. Oh, I'm pump my seat up. No, it's no window wiper at the minute. I've got that uh, completely out, I've got a hole there. The old lock was knackered, the mechanism was knackered on it. The, um, I miss <laughs> I've missed a bloody turn now. Um, the motor was completely knackered, like I say, the mechanism was. Um, so I've got a new um, motor and mechanism coming, so. Uh, Oh, when that turns up, another thing to get fitted. Charging, does she? 14.5 volts. Oh, that's right, just cleaning the inside of the tractor out. Idea. I am using Carplan Flash Dash. Um, other cleaning products are available, as I'm sure you're aware, and I'm sure I'll be told. Um, but I forget where I was, and there was a load of these that were cheap, so I bought them. And they're pretty good, to be honest. They do a fair decent job. Looking a bit more respectable again because, well, like I say, I don't drive it much during the winter. This time of year, 
I do tend to be on it a bit more, obviously, because I do most, well, all, I did all the bathing last year. And we'll probably do most of it again this year. Oh, it's a bit more respectable now, I would say. I say it's not perfect, but it's just a quick clean, get it up to, up to something where you could say it's respectable. Anyway, that's that done. We will now go and stick the bather on, ready for the morning. That's uh, if it don't pee it down some more. the baler as well but um, they ain't gonna get done but isn't that bad it's only just got a sort of layer of dust on it and um, a bit of bird crap so um, yeah I'll get tomorrow out of the way and I'll sneakily get them both done get this so it's properly washed not just had a bit of water chucked in it anyway let's chuck uh, change this drawbar important to have a nice clean tip before you put it in the hole. Yeah, they are. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video, getting ready. And, uh, whew, bring on the grass. That's all I can say. Bring on the grass. So I hope you enjoyed that little vid. See you next time. Ta-ta!